Well, it's just after 10 o'clock. I finished all my rolling, not bad. I only went out after dinner and because uh, I was sorting the drill out this morning with Joe. Sorry, yesterday morning, because you're now watching the next day. Did 150 acres of rolling in an afternoon. Well, finishing at 10, so I don't know. Maybe nine hours. Bit of a steady start this morning because I was obviously rolling till late last night. It was a Macmillan charity coffee morning at the village hall I'm going to go to in a minute. But this door's leaking air. The seals don't seem to last long at all. And it's the air pressure for the drying floor for blowing through the, the wood chip. But I think what I could put on the inside that'll last longer and won't dry out because a lot of stuff glues on and dries out and falls off. I don't know whether I can have a curtain the other side to when the fan's on it just pushes against the door to stop the airflow. But now I'm going to shut the fan down and have a look at it properly. Right, this is the plan. Get some silicon, put it all around that rubber seal, which has gone a bit crusty. Then put grease around this door, close it, and let it set. But hopefully the silicon won't glue the door shut because the, the it'll peel off off this door because of the the grease will be on it. And hopefully then the door won't whistle and let air out. That's the plan anyway. But yeah, that rubber's gone brittle. I'll get in here as well because I think it can leak through the frame. It's whistled that door for, for years and it's gradually got worse, but suddenly the last week it's really annoyed me how much noise it's making. So I'm going to fix it now. Yesterday I was looking for some 10 mil nuts in the workshop, couldn't find them anywhere. Today I'm looking for a standing knife. I've walked in and just walked straight into the box with 10 mil nuts in. Does that happen to anyone else? I couldn't find a standing knife, so that'll have to do. Let's cut the ends off the silicon tubes. It's a nine inch grinder that runs on batteries, quite handy. Also known as a universal key. And then I'm not gonna use grease, I'm gonna spray it with this because I think it'd be easier. So I'll spray the seal with that for one side. And then put the silicon on that side. There's the bag of rags that got wet the other week when the Shed flooded, also did the workshop. It's drying out the air tunnel. Put silicon really neatly, as you can see, all the way around. I've oiled the door. I'll try and close the door now. And hope it opens later. And hopefully the silicon will go off and there'll be a tighter seal. Gonna leave the fan off for a bit now while I go to the coffee morning. And I'm gonna take some sweet corn up because it's for charity. So if I take a load of sweet corn, people can put a donation, take it home with them. And then when I come back, I'll turn the fan on, the silicon should have half set, but hopefully not glued the door shut. In the Mini Merlot, it's got diesel. Will that box stay on while I go up to the sunflower maze and the sweet corn, or will it blow off? We'll see. It stayed on. Just moving the bales out of the way. This field of sunflowers now is in full bloom. Looking great. These are the ones that we filmed planting live up for a primary school so it'd be good if the primary school can come back and visit them i bet this box once it's full of sweet corn will be heavy there's the dead crop master over there i need to try and get that running i might have a go later depending on how much spraying i've got to do but i've got a lot of spraying to do but I might do it right i'll go and find some nice sweet corn now there's the flower there's a flower and then that's got like seeds or buds on it it's like never seen that before it's like a throwback to when it used to be grass Anyway, we'll go in and see what we can find. It won't blow off there now without much waiting. Anyone got any guess what I could do with the rest of them? Will they last till half term? We could probably open up again and just pick your own. Sunflower maze isn't open this weekend. We decided to close it because some of the sunflowers have passed it. Some have only just opened, but there wasn't a the footfall to warrant the staff. Or maybe at half term there might be. I'm out of breath now from carrying that box across the field. It's quite heavy. Right, back from the coffee morning. The door opens, the silicon has stuck to the door as well, so it's a good job I've tried it. Hmm, I don't know what to do now because I didn't think it had stuck to the glue, to the oil. And it's like totally stuck to the oil, I should have used grease, shouldn't I? Now the worry is now that the silicon goes off and then I can't open the door because this silicon is used to glue these concrete panels together which weigh two ton. And sometimes when we've lifted these concrete panels out weighing two ton, they brought the panel underneath with them because the silicon's held it. 
So, I don't know what to do now. I don't know if to shut the door. And wait for it to go off. Or should I respray it with oil? It's still sticky. Oh, I don't know what to do now. The top of the door, the oil obviously worked. And the bottom of the door, the oil obviously worked. But the sides, the oil didn't work and the silicon stuck to it. I think the only thing you can do now is leave the door open, let the silicon set to that and set to the door and shut it later when it's dry enough to not stick back to itself. I was supposed to be going out spraying, but now obviously it's drizzling quite heavily. So I'm gonna check the satellite picture, see if it's gonna go off pretty soon. And if it is, I can get back out spraying. But I don't wanna leave wheel marks everywhere. And I also don't want it to wash in too deep as well, the spray I'm putting on. While it's raining, getting a bag of wood chips, go up like the hot tub, because there's a hen party at the, at the farm and they can't light the hot tub because the logs have got damp because of the rain. It's a tough job, but someone's gotta do it. Got some visitors, where are you from? Where are you from? Gosport. Gosport? I thought you said Portsmouth. Gosport, it's across the water. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And they've, they've been up to Barrow for a wedding and they've called on their way back and they're going to look around the sunflowers. That's how I know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just emptying all my empty water bottles out the sprayer. It's now damp enough, yet dry enough to go spray it. So I'm going to spray I'm just waiting for Charlotte because she's coming with me. Two minutes, you said. It's been eight. Yeah, that buzzing noise, that's my seat adjusting to my weight when I get in. It's sort of annoying now because if you get in and you put your feet on the floor, it adjusts to your weight with the feet on the floor, but then later on if you got your feet off the floor, then you end up being too low. Anyway, pull it out the passenger seat now. Put your seatbelt. Eleven minutes later. I brought water. I know I brought one for a reason. So we're through the gates. Playing round the pond, it's really easy with GPS. You can see it, it's turned off them sections. And as we go out now, it'll start turning the other ones up. There you go. It's good. Just gonna come on now on this left-hand side. Right-hand side, sorry. There we go, back to full spraying now. It's rained overnight as well, so it's just, and this afternoon. It's just nice and moist now, so I'm actually using less water today, so I can get more in one tank. So we've got 100 acres in this tank now. Spray all this off. This oil seed rate volunteers, they'd be dying now. They were sprayed off, I think, on Wednesday, I think it was. And this was sown on Wednesday as well. So hopefully in a week, it'll be green with wheat. There's no smoke coming out of the fertilizer factory today, because that's its tower there. So they obviously are not producing any fertiliser today. Look at that barley. I'm going to have to get up it out, it's that good. This is the first field of barley we've sown. What was it now, three weeks ago maybe? No, it can't have been. Yeah, it will have been. Yeah, about just short of three weeks ago. Beginning of September it was sown and now what, we're the 19th or something like that. Anyway, apart from the 12 metre tram lines, which aren't really that noticeable because you can't see sort of two from the same place. I think it looks great. And then there's the fertilizer plant there, which will it reopen? Who knows? Plane buzzing over there. Anyway, I'm going to go and spray that field there now. Why is Charlotte crouched down in the bushes? There's a guy over there walking with a stick, so I'm about to dive out the headland tram line and go down a different one. Spray through the middle of the field first, and I'll have to spray the headland pass last. There he is, somewhere there in the shadow. Even close to the fertiliser plant now, you can actually smell it from here. Big phone holder. And bottle holder going good. Back from spraying now, and the silicon has only just started to set. So, I think the only option I've got now is to spray oil on both sides, shut the door, and turn the boiler back on because we've not been able to blow any 
hotter through this wood chip today and we need it dry for tomorrow so little job took all day spread it with oil now just have to hope it's not glued shut in the morning turn the fan back on it's still whistling and leaking a bit so if anyone's got any ideas on how to make a draft excluder that doesn't get affected by heat let me know not really a quiz question today but well there is actually what was Charlotte doing in the bushes? Was she having a wild wait or was she rescuing a hedgehog? Answers below. I was 95% today until I turned that fan back on and realised that messing around with all that silicon hasn't worked. Now I'm 92. Anyway, how are you feeling today? Again, leave that below. Answer is a percent. It's a percentage, 92, don't forget. And if you want to watch another video, it's over there. If you want to subscribe, it's over there. I've got to go now. There's a hen party that needs picking up from the train station and taking back to the to Brookhouse. It's, it's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow.